hello welcome thanks for clicking on the video this is Nate and I got a treat for you today it's these nice little window overhangs here you got the tin on them that does have the single roof but uh, we've got this 1925 square foot three bedroom two bath home now you're really gonna like the floor plan on this one along with this uh, exterior porch here so uh, all your bedrooms are down at that end of the home so your bedrooms are all close together I'm trying to film over here so anyway so as I was stating all your bedrooms are down at the other end of the home Kind of close together now there's one that's separated from the others but still down at that end of the home just wanted to point out here you've got uh, on your exterior porch here this one kind of comes out a little bit perfect spot to put your barbecue and then all your smoke can rise up and not get under the porch there Real quick on the back side here, just want to show you. We got us a uh, our back door. Now you do have the blinds in all your doors here with the full glass. And then we've got our bedroom windows right here, so let's head on in. I haven't even mentioned yet where I'm at, have I? <laughs> so we are at Oak Creek Homes here in Abilene, Texas. So I uh, just want to say thank you to Oak Creek Homes for letting me come to film them. And of course, I'm not going to be able to film everything, but uh, you can check it out. Check out their website. And the uh, general manager here has his own channel. So just look up either, I believe it's either Oak Creek Homes or it's under Bill Wilkins. So don't forget to check that out where you can get a tour of all the homes that they have. So now we're inside. Now, like I said, don't forget to check out his channel, but don't forget to finish watching this one first. <laughs> so uh, anyway, so I really like the accent with the tin right here. Great big area for your TV. Not the white shiplap on the wall. And then as we spin around, you can see you've got great big living room area. All your vents are in the ceiling. And then you've got the LVP flooring, as you can see here. All hand laid tile. So now we got to go to the kitchen. First, let's get the dining room. So you've got a separate dining room area. It's, you know, it's got its own little room here. It's not technically part of the kitchen, not part of the living room. This gives it that really upper end feel. And 
And then you've also got a back door over here to go out onto the porch. Of course, you got your blinds in your door. Now you can extend the dining room and the kitchen area out into the porch area. You just, of course, you lose the porch, but you can make these a little bit larger. And check out that ceiling up there. Yeah. You got the wood beams, the wood accent in the ceiling. And look at how big this island is. And it is surrounded with cabinets. So we've got the doors down below. Of course, you got drawers above all your doors. So you've got them down at this end. Seating for two. Really nice island. Got that butcher block look to it. Now check out your vent hood. And that is a big vent hood. Got the tin accent. Really nice backsplash here. And then it goes from this glass backsplash to the ship lap. And that runs all the way up to your ceiling. The free floating shelves. I guess I could show you some of the upper cabinets too. And of course we've got cabinets all the way around our refrigerator. And then we come into the butler's pantry area. Cabinets down below. And on the other side of your butler's pantry, your utility room. So we've got, the, of course, the washer dryer. Some more cabinets up above. There's that back door there again. You got the blinds in the door. Water heater. Central heating and air, and then as this wraps around, look at how much space you have for a chest freezer or a deep freeze. There's a big area. Like the camera doesn't do it justice, but it has a really wide area. Yep. And the AC just kicked on. <laughs> so while I was in there, the AC kicked on. So now we're going to come down, we're going to get to your bedrooms. In case I didn't point it out, you've got the shiplap wall over here also. And of course your crown molding goes all the way around the house. We've got our study area. And one thing I want to point out, in your study areas where your USB plugs are at. So this will make the perfect charging station slash kids homework area. Now this bedroom has some trim supplies in it. So you're gonna have to look past that.
All right, and our other bedroom is going to be over here. And then our closet's kind of right in the middle of the hall. Now this closet is a deeper closet. Now the reason this guy is in the middle of the hall, or the middle of the floor here, is in your master bedroom you got his and her closets. And you got the extra wide guest bathroom. I mean, look how much space you have in here. And lots of counter space in here. It's your full stack of drawers and your under sink cabinet space. And hello, Raiden. One piece fiberglass shower tub combo. And then your linen cabinets. And they go way back in there. Let's see, your master bedroom is at the very back of the house. Plenty far off of everything else. And I know some of you comment that uh, you don't like the bedrooms close together because you don't want to share walls with your kids. Well, you're not. You got this closet in between you. So you got a nice big walk-in closet here for one closet. And at the other end of the room is closet number two. Also giving you the nice big walk-in closet. And wait till you see the master bath over there. But look at the size of this bedroom. So here is your marriage line right here. So your bedroom is a little more than half the width of the home. You ready for this? Yeah, look at that. Straight ahead as you come in. This really nice floating tub with some great big windows next to it. Of course, you can always shut the blinds or at least flip them up so that people can't see in. I don't know if there is an option for the uh, frosted glass or not. And then we've got the pedestal sinks. The raised stack of drawers. I really like these faucets too. Those are some cool looking faucets. All right, and then we come back around. We've got our water closet over here. Now the camera makes this door look pretty narrow, but it's not quite as narrow as the camera's making it look. And then look at the size of this shower. And you've got your big shower tower. I know I've been asking, like, what do you call this? And I finally got the name of it. It is called the Shower Tower. <laughs> See, you got your crown molding all the way around, even in your bathrooms. And with that, I think you all should crown this video with a whole bunch of comments, letting me know what you think of the homes. 
What did you think? What do you like? I mean, this is a gorgeous bathroom. What kind of upgrades would you like to see done? Don't forget to uh, hit that like button while you're down there. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notifications. That way you get notified when I upload videos. And I will see you here shortly with some price information. Thanks for watching. Well, good morning. So I did the video editing last night, finishing up this uh, outro here just before I go to work today. So I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. It's a really nice home. So this one is called The Pearl. I'm not sure if I stated that in the video. I can't remember. <laughs> so uh, anyway, like I said, it's called The Pearl. It's a 1,925 square foot. This one has the tile shower. I'm not sure if that is the base model or not. Most of the homes that Oak Creek Homes has on their lots are base models. So if this is a base model, that's a, like a super nice base model there. So uh, we, now we got to get into some price information. Keep in mind the price that I give you is the price that's provided on the website. You know, so I filmed this in January of 2023. So the price may or may not be slightly different, you know, back then. But the price currently listed on the website is uh, 251 almost 252,000 so you know when you see this down the road double check the link in the web in the description to verify that that is the price before you give them a call you know that way because prices could go down they could go up you know how things go and then depending on where you have this home delivered there could be extra city fees county fees things like that and I know Oak Creek Homes does deliver in the surrounding states of Texas. So that's obviously going to affect the uh, price because there'll be extra delivery fees. So make sure you're hitting the link down below, you know, hitting the subscribe button, leaving me a comment, all that kind of stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.